go ahead and get started. Um, go ahead and find a sample real quick. Uh, and how you do that, you hit browse. You can scroll down to sample. You can go to your banks and anything that you have preloaded in there, you can go ahead and set that up. And then, um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and take this first one. So now we want to go ahead and load it. Alright, once you load it, it's in there. If you hear that, number one, it don't start on time. So we want to go and set the start points. And what we want to do is come out of browse, click sampling. All right, once you click sampling, you want to go to edit in the top left display. All right, you, you click edit, then you got trim that's going to come up. You got your start and your end points. What you want to do is set you're going to see it moving over here, the actual um, cursor or whatever. You want to set that to when the beat actually first come in or wherever you want to start the loop at. I'm just, I'm going to start it on at the beginning. So we're going to go, let's see. And before we do that, let's, let's come out of sampling. We want to go to sounds, right? Once you press, so both of these browsing samplers going to be deselected. You want to press sounds and then press module. All right, once you press module, voice settings is going to come up. You got polyphony, you got choke. You want to set your polyphony down to one. And what this is going to do is only allow this to play one note at a time. So you won't have, say for instance, I'm going to put it back to eight where that's the default. When I hit it, it's going to go it's going to play and if I hit it again it's going to overlap so just listen you hear it now so it's doubling up and what you don't want to do I'm so I'm so you don't want your sample playing like that cuz that jumbled up crap it just you know it sounds horrible so what you want to do is set your polyphony down to one. All right, now when you hit it, see? now it's stopping. All right, your choke group will be. Come on. I'm so. Alright, your choke group, group would be if you wanted this pad to cut off that pad, which I explained in my last video. So I'm not going to go into that. But I normally just set that to one anyway. Um, now you want to come out of there. So let's click off a module. Let's go back to the sampling tab. Alright, now that we got the sampling tab, you, you want to look over here to your waveform. Alright, when you hit it, now it's pretty much starting on me. We can... That's a little bit better. probably gonna get tired of hearing that damn sample all over again over and over again but now that we got it set to the start point which we what we want to do is if we count it out and right now I'm gonna explain how we how how we count it because a lot of people asking me how do you get your four bars all right when I hit it I'm gonna start to count one two three four that's one bar then it's two two three four that's two bars then it's three two three four that's three bars and then it's four two three four and that's four bars 
So we want to go, it's a, it's a total of 16 counts that we want to count out. And everything should end right there at that 16 count and it should go back to one again. If it don't go back to one, then the sample is, is too long. So, you know, that's what we got to try to figure out now. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start it off and we're going to start counting. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And it should stop right there. I'm so. But you see all that, the extraness at the end of it. So we, we need to fix that. We need to trim that down. All right. And how, how I do it, since I already got the start point set. Now, this is an easy way to do it to find the loop. All right, what you want to do is come out of sampling again, right? Hit module again, so you got the voice setting screen come up again when you have polyphony and choke groups, pitch bend. All right, you want to hit the, the, uh, the right cursor, the right arrow key. That's going to take you over to, you got pitch, pitch and gate. You got the tune, you got the start, reverse, type. Type, you want to set that, twist the knob till it goes to ADSR, ADSR. And what that does is allow it to stop. Once you take your finger off the pad, once you take your finger off the pad, it stops it. All right, but what that also allows you to do is this is a, this is a cool feature right here. When you go back to sampling, all right, you're going to be in the edit screen. Same way you were setting the, you know, the, the start and the end points when you was trimming the sample. Now you want to go to, click over that right arrow one more time, and it's going to take you to loop. All right. So the loop is disabled automatically. You want to turn that to enable. All right. And once you turn that to enable, you want to go to start. All right. With the start, you need to set that as the same time as the start of the trim so you can toggle back like right now we're in the loop setting press the left arrow take you back to trim all right on this particular sample the trim start is 52 787 now we want to set the loop start to 52 787 so we turn it And if you want to get, like, if you're trying to get some fine dialing in, because a lot of times it's just going to go past the point, you're not going to be able to get it to it, you hold shift, and then you twist it. And then that'll move it slower to where you can get it exact to where you want it to be. So it's 52, 787. All right, 52787. That's the start of the sample and the start of the loop. All right, so when we hit it, it starts right where it's supposed to start at. And now when we loop it, I'm so. See how it's off? Because that last part is not, a, is not exactly four bars. So that last part, we need to set the end loop point um, to, so it could start at the, on that, uh, the end of that 16th note or 16th hit or, you know, um, uh, fourth bar. All right, so what we got to do is find that, that point right there. And how you do it is you want to go to the end point of the loop. And this is what you're going to be working with now. Just everything else is set up. So you're just going to be working with the end loop point. And you want to just make sure that that loops at the fourth bar. So you just hold it, hit it, hold it. Alright, so you see it's still a little bit too long. So you want to keep on twisting it. You know, a lot of times you can look at the wave and see probably around where it's where it's supposed to end at, but sometimes you might not be able to. So 
we're going to do it, pretend like we don't know where it's ending at. So we're going to go ahead and hit it again. So it's still a little bit too long. You want to twist it back some more. And maybe I should be counting it out. I'm going to count it out. That way y'all understand what I'm saying also. So it's one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And it's still, it's a little bit too long. So we're going to cut it back a little bit more. All right. I'm going to try it again. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two. Three, four, four, two, three, four. See, it's, uh, it's, it's just about there, so let's try it again. Let's see, let's count it out again and see if that's it. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two. So that's a little bit too quick. It's ending a little bit too quick. So I'm going to zoom in. And how you zoom in, this first this first knob right here on the right display. You want to zoom in, twist it. This one, this uh the second knob over will scroll. So you can see exactly where the point is at. So alright. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna let's see. Go about right there. Now we're gonna hit it count it over again and see where it, how it comes out. So one, two. Three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two. And that's pretty much it, man. Like if you get it like that, you, you might you, you know you still can go in a little bit more, zoom in a little bit more and get it fine to it's where it's chopped right on, you know, on the one. Um, but now since we got that set up like that, we're gonna go to all right, let's remember this number, 489171. And you can write it down if you have to or whatever, because now we're going to set the end point of the sample. So all you want to do is continue to stay in the same uh, sampling tab. You want to hit the left uh, arrow going back that way. That's going to take you back to the trim, to the trim um, screen. All right, so that number is 489171. 489, 171 should be your end on your trim. All right, so let's go ahead and set that. All right, remember, hit shift, hold shift, and twist it when you want to get it direct. So I got that 489 now, 096. So I'm holding trim to get it to 171. All right, it's 489, 171. And sometimes, like it just happened to me, if you take the loop, the end point ahead of where the um where the loop point is at, it's gonna move the loop point up. So if you if you do that, remember to go back and take your loop point back to the same point um, that you had this, the end you know the end of the sample at. Because other than that, it's going I'll do it real quick so you can hear it. It's a little bit faster, but it, it you know it's, you really can't really tell, but you want to make sure that that is exact. So it's 489.171. So we want to set that loop point back to that again. And basically, all you have to do, you don't even have to press none. Just take the loop 
end point and twist it to the right and that's going to take it to the end of the sample and then it's going to automatically stop because the loop can't go past where the sample is ended at all right now that we got that what we want to do is you're still in the sample tab all right now you could take audio i mean we'll go to your right screen hit audio now you want to truncate it. What truncating is doing is trimming it down. All the extra stuff that was at the beginning. Um, the sample didn't start on the one. And then all the end that was left. Which is, um, you know, I had that last little, you know, couple of beats or whatever at the end. Where it wasn't making it a, a complete four bar loop. Or it was too long. Now you want to hit truncate. And truncate trims everything all the way down. Now what you can do is go back. Go back to loop. Well, you're in the sample screen or whatever. Uh, let me see. Oh, cut. You got to come out the audio. Hit audio to, to exit out that after you trim. Now it's going to take you back to the loop screen. Now what you want to do is disable loop. That way it's not looping anymore. All right. Then you want to come out the sample screen. Go back to where it has sound and modules on the left side so you're not in browse, you're not in sample. Now you want to make sure sound and modules is selected. Look down again where we had, you know, you had the pitch. It started off at voice settings. You clicked over one more to the pitch gate screen. Alright, under you got tune, start, reverse, type. Under type, set it back to one shot. Now once it's on one shot, you hit it play all the way through all right that's a complete that's the four bar loop right there um you probably could get it a little bit more exact if you want like i said if you wanted to zoom in and really dial in on it but that's a complete four bar loop that's how you get it and then in, in my next video i'm gonna show you how to incorporate that into making a beat. So this is going to be a series. Uh, first, the first video is about how to find the loop. All right. The next video, I'm going to show you how to, you know, speed it up or manipulate it, and then put it on, keep it on beat, and chop it over. However, we're going to do it. But I just wanted to get this out there. Again, this is going to be a series. So make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm going to show y'all how to make a beat from beginning to end. Sample based beat from beginning to end. Um, if you have any questions, you want to see any more videos, check out um, or hit me up on Twitter, AG Got Beats. That's my username. I got my Facebook, AG Got Beats. Um, if you want to connect with me, you know, on, on all the social media networks or whatever, you can go to my website, AGGotBeats.com, and you can link up with me from, from there to, to anywhere that I'm at. Um, I want to thank y'all for y'all support. Please continue to watch my videos so I can continue to make them. Uh, leave comments and rate, subscribe. And, and that's pretty much it, man. And I, like I said, I really appreciate y'all support. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.